I get my fucking mic together before hey. I start fucking telling y'all what to do. Thank you for joining us, everybody, on a new episode of Smoke and Fire. I'm your host, LK the guy, the BD, the mogul, the Shogun and the one We have a lot of good topics for you today, but before we get into any of those, I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing on YouTube, telling your friend about Fire Squad, telling all your friends about Fire Squad. Leave a like, you know, hit the notification bell for more episodes, more content. Leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Say some kind of words or some not kind of words, but you have to deal with the consequences. Um, like I said, we have a lot of good stuff, a lot of funny stuff for uh, everyone to talk about today. Where would you like to begin? Be mad. From the top. Man. From, from the tippy. <laughs> from the tippy. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this show, man, the show, the shock for anybody who uh, is confused, the show, <laughs> the show. All right, uh, where would you like to begin? I will defer to you. Where would you like to begin on this show? I'm hate watching at this point. Pretty much. Like this show has just lost this entire soul. Like, <laughs> Lost his entire soul. Yeah, bro. Like, wait, I, can we just get Reg back? Like, never mind. No. Even though we never seen him die, Trig said, "Oh, this nigga killed my brother. Let mm-hmm. me shoot him in the head." I don't give a fuck about what Trig said. Victor. Mm-hmm. Fuck Victor. Um, Victor. So the fuck all of them. Uh, <laughs> except Kev. Kev tried to get the fuck out of there. Respect. You need to get off of this sinking ship. Yeah. Let niggas remember you for something good. Go play Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah, basically. Essentially. Learn Spanish. <laughs> learn Spanish. Like, like, come on. Like, this shit here. Come on. Uh, like, this show is just soulless at this point. Um, it started off so good, and now it's like... It's soulless. That's the name. Like, I hated Rage when he was around. I hated the nigga. He was a good-ass villain. Perfect villain, almost. Like, he was just a, just a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Now everybody on this show is a fucking thug with soul, or just <laughs> a thug with soul, a thug but a lover at heart, or they, or just fucking stupid. That's Emmett, the for example, of today's episode, that thug with soul. I dig Emmett, for example. Uh, Emmett, I used to like his character. He was always dumb, but now the nigga is just stupid, just stupid. Like I know he was always dumb, but old Emmett would not have went upstairs and put that gun in that in the nightstand next to his bed. No lock, nothing. Yeah. Old Emmett would not have put a bag full of money in the living room. <laughs> in the fucking living room. Like, in the living in the middle, room, in the, bro. In, the, in the middle of the living room. In the living room! What the fuck is this, Emmett? Uh, was about to, about to, nigga, what are you doing? That nigga walked up on Duda in in the middle of his illegal chop shop, was talking shit to the nigga, fuck you and all of that, like off some boss shit, like you know how these niggas move, and then you shitted on yourself when he pulled the gun. What did you think was gonna happen? Well, I I I, I felt I felt for Emmett in that moment of time because you know you been. He being a baby father, you know what I'm saying? He had to go get his shit off. And he already know for a fact he the last one to the party. And dude, I told him, like, nigga, niggas already pulled up on me with this shit. Nigga, you late, nigga. Fuck you with my face for <laughs> Like, that shit was funny. And then the energy, bro. You don't dance with the devil and then uh, not expect to you know, not get burned. Like, bro, come on. You know what you into. Niggas think dude like you the baby saw. father, you used to want to be a baby father. Niggas think dude I saw because he got a squeaky voice. <laughs> <laughs> like, please, that nigga killed a nigga for chewing his dumb too loud. Respect. I hate that shit too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this show is just thing. back to that. Yeah, everybody's a fucking a thug with his fucking soul. Mm-hmm. They're like, it's. How you feel about Shawty having a baby though? Papa's joint joint having a baby. She got a whole baby. I mean, it's, it's more character development and storyline for Papa. Because Papa has been... Mm-hmm. 
outside of becoming a, you know, a chauvin, a shonda brother. Um, Papa has just, like, he's had almost no fucking development. I love Bubba. He's, he's cool. Uh, Papa has <laughs> had, like, no fucking development at all. Like, this nigga, I don't even know what they're doing with this nigga's character. His father's clearly going to die. Um, Papa been the same nigga forever. He's still fronting in front of his friends and shit. Like, oh, yeah, me and her gonna get into some adult shit. Like, nigga, stop lying on your dick. Shout out to, ooh, I can't say that. Um, ooh, that was just... <laughs> hey, let the dog, let the dog out there, nigga. <laughs> let the dog out there. Huh? I'm here. Fuck we talking about? Yeah, niggas, that nigga right. lied on his dick. Niggas. Niggas is nasty. Stop. Niggas is fucking nasty. Yeah, we talk about it. Fuck that shit, nigga. Niggas. We gotta find a way to get these subs right. up. <laughs> First of all, don't yeah. lie on your dick. And don't lie. lie. Don't lie on your dick about girls that's friends with your girl. What the fuck are you doing? Woo! And then be mad at a. He went to the sprite rack. Hey. Then be mad at another nigga. Like, why you say that, nigga? Why you lying on your dick, you weird nigga? The fuck? <laughs> I was fucking these bitches. Nigga, no, you wasn't. We, <laughs> we know you. We saw you. Oh, uh, man. Look, nigga man. Nigga, weird as shit for that, bro. What the fuck? PSA, everybody, look. Rule number one, don't lie. Don't lie, especially on your pain. You're crazy. You're crazy, especially when people can verify you can easily verify and look at receipts and look at common sense and look at how you dress <laughs> and look at how you act and they can just verify and look like brother this ain't you but you know everybody B Mac has to do whatever possible to help them sleep at night yeah. and right. I don't blame people for living in whatever fantasy or dream world that helps them be the king and they story. Because in everybody's story, they're Beyonce. Nobody's Kelly. And most you Kelly ass, Michelle ass niggas out here be talking trash like y'all Beyonce. No, learn the dance moves. Michelle's my favorite. Really? Yeah. I've never heard anybody say that before. Yeah, never mind. Michelle's your favorite? Michelle is my favorite. Michelle. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 So, <laughs> shout out to Michelle. What do you like about Michelle? Everything. What do you, <laughs> be more specific. What do you like about Michelle? No. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> nah, but um, uh huh. Because I'm, I, I'm not a Kelly fan. I'm not a Beyonce fan. Respect the talent, though. Niggas be like Beyonce trash. She not trash. I just don't like her. Which I is mean, fair. Yeah. I will tell you, I don't like Beyonce. I don't like Kelly's music. Beyonce got some bangers. Well, even though I'm not supposed to say that. It's not Kelly's fault. It's not. Yeah, it's not Kelly's fault. But I, I mean, mean the have career ever, is what it, the career is what it is. Have you ever seen like a singer who wasn't the main act break out and have success? Uh, have we ever seen? No, that fuck, before? no, no, no. Unless it was like a different medium, like acting or something. Mm. So you know, but no, never, never in music, cause nigga, you can't, you can't escape that shit. Like you was Beyonce's backup, you never will be able to escape that shit. And just live with it. Just go find something else to do. Hey, you, you got a famous man. space. Kelly Rowland was, was you know, She's one of the beautiful. judges on that show, and uh you can't go straight from Beyonce's accomplishments to like the voice or some shit. That's fucked up. I mean, you had a solo career. Motivation. You can do it. I believe it. And baby. baby. People love, women love Kelly. Yeah. Like, Kelly is, like, people, like, everybody who doesn't like Beyonce, but they fuck with Destiny's Child, they like Kelly. Yeah. I like Michelle because she's third. I love a good underdog, you know. <laughs> he loves an yeah. underdog. <laughs> this is what we're her face at. Hey, here we go. Bring that right. shit back around. PSA, ladies, niggas love sexy red. We, we, what you want us to do? Hey. What you want? We love sex. We niggas love hood rats. We I, love all the rats and shit. I don't love sexy rats. We love hood rats. Just like y'all love hood niggas with a gun. We love shawties with a even uh, though he story. can't fucking fight. <laughs> we love shawties with a record. 
and a little backstory adds more gravitas. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like, oh, what's your villain story? You're like Frankie. You you, you change your name and everything. <laughs> She's like Frankie. You know, I just noticed that shit. The street niggas that, that these women love, they can't fucking fight. But the but the hood rats, they can fight. For yeah, the most they part. They will beat a nigga ass. Yeah, like, like some of you shorties, you gotta go, oh, oh shit, oh. Like some, like yeah, you have a play you fight with your girl and you're like, oh shit, you actually got hands, hold up. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to say You that. ain't gonna play me like this, motherfucker. Back up. I can't see right now. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> like, you ain't about to just like, they will fuck around and put a combination on you. You're like, oh, whoa, what you doing? Yeah. We all still friends. All right, back to the shot. <laughs> Uh, look, hey, look, we just like went on the fucking t- fuck this shot. Fuck this shot. Nah, but I well, hate I said, There's a couple it. good elements in here, though. Yeah, it is. There's a couple good conversations. So, did you have a problem with uh, Shorty's prom dress? No, that nigga was overreacting he was like shit. The fuck out. There wasn't even cleavage, bro. I'm like, know. what are you doing? I was like, that's an appropriate dress. I like the dress. I'm like, that's appropriate. Did y'all just pick a bad dress just to try to get the nigga tripping for a storyline? But the dress wasn't, that wasn't it. That wasn't even... They touched that shit and then they never addressed it after that. She showed yeah. up with a different dress. Like, did they cut content? Yeah. Uh, apparently they had a conversation, but the conversation didn't go good enough for her to still be able to wear the dress she wanted to wear. He kind of, like, said something to Shorty, like, caught like a hoe. <laughs> like, yeah. kind of insinuated, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? How you, how you feel about the dress? Same... I that shit was not that fucking bad. I didn't see a problem with it. How do you feel about Nardo Wick being played at that prom? Nardo Wick. Nardo Wick. First of all, I think it don't open this fucking so prom, but that, that's, that's, so that's, that's, my, that's the shit, yeah, though. Man. Right. Yeah, I was like, hey, what the fuck was that? I was about to do Lou, Lou, Lou's hey. birthday. <laughs> I bet the prom, Who was like, I, with me? I ain't go to my prom. You with the prom? Mmm, bad memories. They played gangster shit at prom? I don't remember. Alright, you fuck prom. I was too busy looking for my bitch at prom. <laughs> where, where was she? <laughs> what you mean? We rode up separate cars. This is a traumatic event. Hey, we ain't got it. It's traumatic. It'll make good content, but we ain't got to relive that. Like, oh. I, that's how I felt. I felt for, uh. Looking for my bitch at prom. Title. I, <laughs> I felt for Papa in that instance oh, where like he oh. got the text like Shawty not pulling up because that kind of happened to me. That nigga guess was what? pre-lying on his dick. Oh. We gonna do some adult shit later, Boy, he, nigga. That he grown woman ain't early. fucking with you like that. You he know called it too early. He knew she wasn't with the shit. Never she called said, nigga, it too early. Nigga, you're seventeen. I'll go to jail. Ain't nobody going to fucking jail. She's not going to jail, but it's, it's the Niggas look. It's it the all look. The time. You out of high school? Don't be fucking no high schoolers. Yeah. And some of y'all did. Oh I know god. some of y'all. Oh my god. But whatever. We ain't got to talk oh about that. Oh my god. But yeah, kind of the same situation. And the plot to us of the story is I was a nigga with the limo. I mean, you won. But I didn't have no girl. Like, oh, she wasn't there. Damn. I didn't have a date, so you niggas. Taking pictures, and I'm over here like. I mean, I'm just that nigga. I got the limo. Like, what's up? I'm not driving it. it but somebody's good. coming back in this bitch. What's good? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah, it was traumatic. It was a traumatic. Apologies. Experience. See, I avoided that whole shit. I'm like going to this motherfucking prom. You know yeah. what I did? Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drugs. So, uh, what else happened in this episode? Um, uh, see, Emmett was stupid. Keisha got fired. All right. Keisha got fired. I understand Emmett was part of the blame, but bitch, you show up late and leave early numerous yeah. times? Yeah, she bugging. She this bugging. nigga was like, oh, they fired me. I didn't know they would fucking fire me. She bugging. She said, Keisha, I know. I try to work with you, and you come she late bugging. a lot, and then you she leave bugging. early, too. But You didn't have a leg to... Like, you didn't have a leg to stand on. That's why she on. ain't say shit. She knew. And, like, yeah, I was fucking up, but let me go yell at Emmett. Um, but, Reece, uh, you know, I get it. You know, Emmett been leaning on. Like, like you gotta you find, it. like, I don't understand the problem. Why you keep coming to work late? You a teacher. Have, uh, I mean, kids, whatever. I don't know. Y'all got kids, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the God fact damn. that Emmett was surprised means that you didn't have a discussion with that nigga. If I keep being late, I'm gonna get fired. They fired you for what? 
Because you be leaning on me too much. So you never had that discussion. And what does that mean? I guess, like, you make me late for work because you getting ready for work and shit, and then you need me to get the kids ready and do all this shit. You don't help me enough. Which is fair. Like, you don't help me enough, so I'm, I'm, I'm late. You the boss. You can be late. But you, you holding me back. I can't be late because I work for somebody. Which means you should do some extra nigga because you can be late. She can't. But she didn't have that discussion with the nigga, so it's null and void. But or the right and just that fucking. Bad. Isn't it still like I don't want to? Oh, isn't shit. it still like your responsibility to it try is, to? As an, as an adult, okay, okay, it's still your responsibility okay, right. to get the work. Like, and that's what I'm saying. You should have fucking as an adult. You should have said something before. That. Like mm-hmm. my like, unless you thought that you wasn't gonna get fired, and that's your fault anyway. But yeah, as an adult, you're supposed to have that conversation. Like, come on. Yeah. I'm, I've been late. I've been leaving early because I can't. I, you know, you just need me to pick up the kids. Like, what we doing, nigga? I'm gonna lose my job. That's not good. You yeah. never had a job before, Keisha. <laughs> <laughs> and she's uh-huh. everybody's stupid except the nigga Jake because they don't give him lines this season. That's <laughs> one thing Jake said this season. He said, "Get the fuck out my house, cuz." <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. that was the first thing I thought of. Yep, that was his moment. Hey, you ain't going. You ain't a hey, Jake. First off, Jake. You ain't gonna be throwing niggas out by their collar. Like, hey, look, you disrespect the. Re- Will Martin say respect my house? You can't disrespect the my house. That's crazy. It don't matter who in his house, nigga. It ain't your house. Get the fuck out. Shout I don't want Jake. none of these clothes anyway, so why are you here? Shout out to Jake. Shout out to Jake. Shout out to Jake. Yeah. Shout out to Jake. But yeah, everybody's stupid on this show now. Um, oh, uh, yeah. I tell you the moment I was ready to, like, I was ready to flip the table over and she was like, because, um, damn, I keep forgetting her name, dog. Gemma. She was talking to her father's... Jump off. I was going to say girlfriend. <laughs> I was going to say girlfriend. And she was like, oh, this and that, this and that. And they was like, oh, so, they was talking about boys or whatever. She's like, oh, well, I, uh... I broke up with this nigga. You, what do you remember what she said? She was like, oh, well, I started dating his best friend. Yeah, and so like that. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> Don't try to make it sound like you just out here. Ugh. That, you can't brag about that. That's wild. But it is what it is. You see how they showed the contrast and how uh, Marcus from Smart Guy. I never remember his name on this fucking show. Jason Weaver. Yeah. yeah you, the contrast between him and Emmett. That nigga got them guns in his lady's house. Yeah. And what he immediately did with the motherfuckers versus what, versus what Emmett did with his gun and then the fucking money. That nigga put that shit in the return event. Who the fuck is going to look in there? Bitch, if you find this shit, you was doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. Emmett yeah, goofy ass. Goofy as shit. He going to put it in the ottoman. In the fucking <laughs> ottoman. Like, they'll never find it here. The toy bin. Fuck. You dickhead. The oh room that everybody spends the most time in. It's not locked or nothing. And then you put the gun... He was never this fucking stupid, bro. He was never this stupid. He was dumb, but he wasn't stupid. It's like for story purposes, they got to make this nigga stupid. I understand. What about your man Iman Shumpert going crazy this season, pressing niggas out? Hey, I love it. (laughs) I love it. You you know, who wants smoke? Who wants smoke with us? (laughs) Who wants smoke with us? I'm about you to say, yeah, hey, stick your chest out for your lady. I don't give a fuck if y'all niggas got guns. See how they did him versus how they did Emmett. So, oh, yeah, you, I mean, you, you, you in the right. Emmett was in the right, too, but Emmett, you a bitch. You late. You late. You late. And <laughs> late. Your energy was, nah, that energy was the same, but that but, nigga just gets respect. Okay, so. Name ring bell or whatnot. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, as a man. You got to pull up and act all like that for your baby mother? No. Oh, not okay. for your baby mother. Fuck no. Because, hey. You y'all... can, like, if that, y'all, that's a mutual nigga y'all know, you can say something. But I'm not fighting you over my baby mother unless, like, something really awful happened. She was with her nigga at the time. Let me ask y'all. Viewers. I'm not sure. this <laughs> Viewers, I have a question. If. Your baby mother got a boyfriend, and her car gets stolen. Are you going to be the? Are you, is it your responsibility to pull up and act crazy, or is it the boyfriend's responsibility to pull up and act crazy? Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. Drake. All right. <laughs> Who you say? <laughs>
Drake, Drake, look, Drake, comment. I know you gonna watch this, nigga. Fuck Dang, with you. Hey, shout out to Draco. And shout out to Draco, man. I'm giving you a shout out because you've been supporting Fire Squad hey. this whole time. Liking videos, comment, comment telling your shit, people about it. My engagement. Nigga. Shout out to that nigga, nigga man. Bro. Speaking <laughs> of Drake, segue, I gotta say this. That's I forgot that motherfucking name. That's Kev, uh, his mother's wife. Okay. How you feel about what the fuck she said? She what she said? They got into that argument, her and her wife, about she was seeing uh, she was going out not on dates, but she was hanging out with her fucking ex. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so you don't understand how she's upset? Like what the fuck? Come on, Dre. Dre I know you're not Dre, a nigga, you're not a man, but you gotta be. You gotta come on. Dre, 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 Dre. Here's the thing. I think women have a different set of rule book than men because men would not dream of telling our shorty like Never. I'm going out with my I ex. I wouldn't make it out the fucking out. house. And then to tell you that you're wrong for it, for not understanding, uh, I'm not walking out of that house alive. Nah, not without a I will get frying shot. pan sticking out your ass or something. <laughs> <laughs> like you're going to get a brick thrown at you. Because for some reason, when women are mad at you, they, like, turn into Tom Brady. And, like, I was just about to say. are, like, impressed. Like, 20, improved. Let's see, what year was that? 2017. <laughs> 2017 Richmond, Tom Brady. That nigga, Courtney. <laughs> Shout outs to you. Uh, Hi, Black Love. <laughs> that nigga, Courtney, bro, she hit me with a water bottle. Hmm. She can't do shit athletic. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing, nothing. But that motherfucking day, <laughs> twenty seventeen Tom Brady, give it all your ass. Like nigga, if you ask her to do anything, you should see her bowl. Oh man! If you ask her to throw anything, anything athletic, it is a big no. She will try, but. Just you know, everybody just not like that. But yeah, women they get super fucking superpowers. Yeah, they get super. They get mad at them. Yeah. Um. They think that's over with. Speaking of superpowers, <laughs> let's talk about a nigga with superpowers. First off, bruh, how in the fuck do I gotta stop cursing? I try to get monetized. How does the police not catch one nigga? And in a historic blue muscle car. How do you not? This nigga's a serial killer, top drug dealer in the whole fucking world. And he drives around in the same car. Never switches the car. He parking on uh, open streets, busy streets, with a blue ass muscle car. That's because he's dead. New season of Tommy Power just came out, everybody. Yep. B Mac, what you think? I like season one of Tommy. A lot of you niggas didn't. I fuck with Power book uh, book four. Yeah, book four force. Um, I I enjoyed most of this episode. Um, I'm I'm questioning where they're going, what they're doing. This is another situation where everybody except the main character is stupid. Um, <laughs> Gina Art is stupid. Oh my god. Um <sighs> so fucking stupid. Um he's gonna end up winning in the end of his storyline. But he's stupid. Um Oh my god. Gina. I forgot Jeremiah died um in season one. I'm about to say that was his murder right hand man. Reg came back on that show too. He also died in season one. Yeah, so he did. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they got a lot of Chicago niggas in this show. Um but yeah, um, Tommy got a new love interest. Ghosts are still talking to this nigga. Mm -hmm. Not ghost, ghosts with an mm -hmm. S. Uh, what was her name? Um, his his partner. Yeah, she she died. Oh, Liliana. Liliana. Yeah, Liliana. she's talking to the nigga in his daydreams. He found a new uh, Latina love interest in the the plug, the connects sister. Yo, know, I'm sick of I'm sick of that trope. It'd be happening in real life, really. But I'm sick of that trope where the shawty be like, oh, I would never date you. 
You're a drug dealer. I would never date drug dealers. You have no chance of getting this. <laughs> then, like, you going fuck. Like, then two episodes later. <laughs> she got a nigga. Works at the hospital with her. Tom might kill that nigga for That's some reason. <laughs> you don't stand a chance, nigga. Nigga, you just an obstacle at this point. Uh, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, I don't know what the show is doing, where they're going. I still enjoy it. Uh, I'm not hate watching it like the shy. Um, yeah. Let's see. Anything of note happen? Oh, uh, JP, JP, oh. heavy ass, bulletproof ass sweater he had on. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That was annoying. JP also got the, uh, what was the name of the Dahlia? That was the name of the drug. Uh-huh. I, you know, you remember. Um, the sister, she went and shot the doctor, the black lady doctor in the head, because she was like, you leaked the, uh, you leaked the Did she leak it, though? Nope. JP did. Tommy put in a phone call. Remember, in season one, JP, Tommy's brother, was made, was cooking. He he figured out the formula, and he cooked the shit up for Tommy. He actually figured it out. Oh. So the doctor wouldn't do it. She not in that life. No. She, she wouldn't do that shit, because she's basically a hostage. Damn. So Tommy made a phone call as we saw in this episode. I believe the phone call was to JP. JP leaked it, uh, the, all the ingredients, how to make it and shit. I like how they're just like writing shit off of the story. Like they wrote the mm-hmm. Dahlia shit out. Um, yeah. The nigga, the, the the girl who was fucking with Diamond in season one, the metal yeah, the broke Diamond, up with the broke up with that nigga on the text. He was like, shit, all right, whatever. Guess but that's how they write was, her she off. She was a snitch though, right? I, I believe so. Yeah, she was a snitch. I said she's working for the fucking media, but I feel like if you like a informant and you actually like end up, you know, like I hate to sound so crude, but if you're an informant and your job's an inform on, like say your job was an inform on somebody like Rihanna or some shit, and you have to infiltrate in Rihanna, you end up hitting Rihanna. Like, okay, do I get like some? Hazard pay because I'm really dedicated to the job. <laughs> the I, really am. I really put in the, the extra mile. <laughs> that's a double yeah, entendre, yeah, bitch. Yeah. I'm going crazy today. No, no, don't do shit that's not in your fucking contract. No, fuck no. I'm not paying you for that. Don't do shit that's not in your contract. But to, the new season, Tommy, man. Uh, yeah, we do have it. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool I, as it can be. I don't I don't like the whole Flynn aspect. I'm about to say the white storyline. This is the only I one that got that. like a whole like Tariq be fucking with the whites sometimes and they got yeah. their shit going, but this shit actually has a real white storyline. The, the only thing they got only storyline they got is oh, my son is supposed to be running the empire. But my daughter, you're a daughter, so you can't run the empire because you're a daughter. But my uh, son is fucking stupid and he likes black women, so he can't run. He can't run the empire either, yeah. and I killed his woman. But you're my daughter, and yeah. you can't do it either. But now my son is, hates me and doesn't trust me, so now I'm yeah. going back to my daughter. You got to do it. And then my son's stupid too. <laughs> he likes running with Gennard. and is that's a prosthetic ear they put on that nigga to make it look like he like used to do MMA, right? Yeah, some shit. Yeah, because he, he got cauliflower ear. That shit, that shit look like motherfucking Nestle Crunch sitting on his ear. Oh, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What happened? No, that, <laughs> yeah. Got an earpiece. I ain't gonna... Yeah, man, it's crazy. All right, that's Tommy. All right, uh, solid start. Seven out of ten. Seven, seven out of ten. Yeah, so far. Yeah. yeah. Hard Knocks. Oh, but the, hey, you know what we did get with this? What? Before Tommy came on, they said Raising Cane is coming back. Oops. Raising Cane is coming back in December. Okay. It stopped. It stopped? Yeah, it stopped recording. Uh, did you push a button? That's cool. I didn't press anything. Oh. That's cool. <sighs> Okay, yeah, it's better. Five, four, three, two, one. So, Hard Knocks. Okay. I really like it. This really makes you believe in 
Uh, I get inspired as fuck every time I watch Hard Knocks, nigga. That shit yeah. is fantastic. I really like this show, dude. Yeah, for the, I, I didn't watch it with the Cardinals because I knew what that was going to be. Yeah. But yeah, you give me a good, like a good storyline slash quarterback. That was nothing. Good storyline slash quarterback. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. You know, mm-hmm. excellent show. Yeah, production um, quality fire. Only thing I don't like about this season versus the other seasons. Mm-hmm. It stopped again. Yeah, I got it. I'm just gonna keep pressing the button. Go ahead. Only thing I didn't like this season versus the other seasons. The other seasons they really like follow them niggas to the door mm-hmm. and they watch them get fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were really one nigga get fired. Yeah, so just right. one nigga at the end of the episode. Yeah. Usually they'll everybody that gets cut, they'll get the phone call. Mm. My favorite John, I think I said it before, was Brandon from the Falcons. This young white boy, he would call these niggas monotone as fuck. It's Brandon from the Falcons. You come to the office, niggas will pull up to. I love watching that. They'll pull up to the door. Their car wouldn't work. Mm. Like, oh oh shit. no! And be just be locked out the motherfucker. But I just stopped at that time. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, they'll pull up to the door and shit. The door would be locked. They couldn't get in. Then watch them niggas have that conversation. I love that shit. Even though it's very sad to watch. But people be disconnected as fuck when you see the roster cuts. And I think Hard Knocks yeah. did a good ass job of like showing you what that shit feels like and it humanizes the process. It lets you understand it like they these did. niggas got fired, bro. Like they only showed the one white boy. The one white boy. Yeah, the Eminem the Eminem nigga. Zap, that. Zap, nap, zap my like that. The nigga who rapped the Eminem, yeah. But that's fucked up, though, because they wide receiver room is a lot of niggas in they wide receiver room. I seen that um, one of the, you know, the two the two undrafted niggas, one of them niggas got cut. Oh. Yeah, you know, one of them was, and yeah, so one of them ended up getting cut. And, yeah. Yeah, we, we knew it was coming, but yeah, I, I wish they would have showed some of that, the emotional aspect of the show. That shit is fire. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers is the GOAT. I don't know what else y'all want from him. Y'all witnessing him. Another Super Bowl. Bye. Bye. Nah, nigga, I wanna, he got a nigga, he need another what? Couple Super Bowl. What? Another uh, one? Wow. He got what? One? One is enough. What? Pat no. Mahomes got two. That nigga just got here. He has Andy Reid. That nigga's too good to Travis not Kelsey. have more than one. Pat Mahomes at one point in time <clears throat> had a live cheetah. Sorry, time out. I keep keep going because I got to book up. But he had a live cheetah as his starting wide receiver. A cheetah. What are you looking at? Uh, uh, Green Bay's. Uh, oh dear. Yeah, bro. bro just, this is. Aaron Rodgers slander. What is happening here? Aaron Rodgers, man. Welcome to New York, man. Thank you for making a move that Damian Lillard never will. Man. All right. That's that's what I thought. What? These niggas was the one seed in the division for like two out of the last three seasons. So the team won some shit. So the one seed, like they lost three and four games, and like they just got to the playoffs, and I think lost in the first round. <laughs> oh my God. Like you can't, nah, bro. You gotta, you gotta know, Tom Brady. You know, this is what you're doing. Tom Brady, he will go out like that. He, Not until he was fifty. He's the goat, goddammit. it. Respect. Uh, he's the goat. He A-R-A. is on eight. But yeah. all of his records are going to be broken by Patrick Mahomes. Does Aaron Rodgers have any fucking records? I probably in Green Bay. Yeah, They're not yeah. gonna be broke by Jordan fucking love, I'll tell you that. No, no, certainly not. Um, yeah, hard knocks is great this season. <clears throat> they actually have a good team on there. This is my first time watching Hard Knocks, and if they're like this, I might want to go back in the past and watch them. Don't watch the card. No, Cardinals had the uh, the in season job last year. Don't oh, watch that. Yeah, yeah. Don't watch Cardinals. They was in the ass the whole time anyway. Yeah, it was All the right. final four games of the season for them. Don't don't watch the Cardinals. Any of the other seasons, watch the Falcons. Shout out the Falcons. Watch the Falcons. Yeah. Uh, I want to give a special shout out to a show that I'm watching now that I think everybody else should watch. Special Ops Lioness. Tell me about it. Starring Zoe Saldana. Literally, tell me about um, it. Um, you know, it's another Paramount Plus show. I think it's another uh, Taylor Sheridan property. 
you know, Taylor Sheridan, he's been doing all the Yellowstones, Mayor of Kingstown, 1883, you know, basically running shit over Paramount. So the show's about an operative who uh, trains young, I mean, I'm not going to say young, but trains female Marines to, like, infiltrate places and, you know, get information and, you know, espionage type shit. So one of them has to, like, infiltrate and become a friend, a best friend to, like, a daughter of, like, a terrorist, like a super terrorist. So it was her job to be, like, be her friend, get intel or whatever, whatever, whatever. But it gets sticky because her and the shawty fall in love. And the shawty's supposed to get married to some dude, but, you know, it's an arranged marriage. So, you know, it gets real, it gets real sticky. Um, the action is great. Zoe Saldana is great, but she's always great. She can stand in this room and just stand there and she'll be great. Um, has Nicole Kidman in it. Morgan Freeman plays the president. Shouts to that. Uh, a lot of familiar faces in the show that you'll like. This is a good action show, man. You know, go check it out. Uh, another good action show is a lot of these NBA niggas wifing porn stars and or wifing video personalities. Now, let me start by preface by saying there is no problem with anybody loving anybody. Love is love. Love, love is love. love. love God is love. love. God, is love. God, <laughs> God is love. But I do spot a trend that's going on. Even starting with Zion to uh, all these <sighs> a couple other people. PJ Washington. Uh, it's like it just started happening. I don't want to say it just started happening, but it's, it's more prevalent now. It's the age group. All right, so as niggas in their thirties, yes, we we were taught differently. Mm -hmm. These young niggas out here, they you don't. Ah, right, we know NBA niggas got hoes. Don't marry no NBA player. Women know that shit. They got mm -hmm. hoes. Yeah, for sure. All right, so as a man, the problem, you know, the problems occur like you know come up when you start. Fucking these bitches raw, getting them pregnant. Mm -hmm. DJ Washington. Mm -hmm. Zion, he ain't get his bitch, that bitch pregnant. He just, nah, she, she, just claimed, she just extorting the nigga. Yeah, she claimed she was pregnant. So, you know. And but like, he, he like, got another shorty pregnant. That's why she was like, oh, I'm pregnant too. What is it? Uh, <laughs> but see, there's one. There's getting your jump off pregnant, but then there's going a whole nother, you know, another, another, they're doing like a whole nother route. Mm -hmm. And like just fucking with not even like not even groupies like niggas is fucking with straight porn stars. Porn stars. <laughs> porn. I mean, look, you I'm, like it, I love it. I told my man this. Look, at least you wouldn't you want to be with somebody who's experienced. I mean, if that's what you like, I mean, we saw with Deshaun Watson, like with that nigga oh. was was having them them women, those women. Not gonna say bitches, those women. Due to him, that shit came out like DeAndre Ayton might be off his Deshaun Watson. He he like might massages. want a particular type of massage <laughs> <laughs> in a in a particular area. Yeah, it's like nigga, you like it? I love it. Do you get your shit off? Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I just I just spot it's a trend, trend though. It's definitely, it's definitely a trend. some some shit going on. But that's I, I just and chalk it up these young niggas. I think it has a lot to do with this being one of the more horniest eras. Nigga, what? In human history. So much that people lying on their dick. But the most Whoa. horniest eras in human history is upon us. It's crazy. I'm about to say sex is just open and free. Like, we try to make sex work illegal. You could just have sex outside and people would be like, don't shame them. Don't shame them. My son. They but, love uh, each other. Like, yeah, sex is just, like, becoming, like, and whatever. Like, you like it, I love it. Yeah. I'm not the type of nigga to just poo-poo on shit that ain't got nothing to do with me. Like, I'm not having sex outside. But, you know, whatever. I would if I had to, but I don't, so I won't. If you pay me, would I do it? Yeah. Hey, fuck it. I'd have sex on this fucking roof back here if you paid me. It's hot shit up here. You know what I'm saying? You see that roof back there? I can go right up there and 
good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's that's where we at in society. So I think in you know the unraveling of sex comes with like, well, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just wife a sex worker. I still want to be doing sex work when I wife her. That that's yeah. oh, that's the more insane part. She's not going to quit. I'm not just She's saying. not quitting. W- women don't do shit like this. Like women, I mean. They be fucking with community dick niggas, but they don't be fucking with professional community dick niggas. But mostly because the niggas be gay. But and the niggas don't want them. They want men. And they don't want them. Yeah. They're gay. Yeah, they suck. Yeah. But uh, men, men, we were with a downfall in this country. So. I mean, I don't want to yeah. sound too misogynistic, but a lot of, a lot of, I'm not gonna say all, but a lot of. Women, they want the prize, but they're not the prize. That's all I'm gonna say. And I won't add anything to that. That's all I'm gonna say. Is there anything else? Back me. Any other people you want to abscond or oppress with your words? We want to roll today. (laughs) We're on a roll. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna. I'm a chill. I'm a chill on. Uh, hey man, what's football. His, what's his face? Starts next week.